Delusions of Presidency Wish Meghan gets brutally beaten up again after Trump's swipe. Since first sparring in 2012, Markle has labeled Trump misogynistic, while the U.S. president has called the actress nasty and made derisive comments about her marriage to Prince Harry, and as the 2020 U.S. presidential election looms, the feud between is reaching boiling point. Donald Trump has somewhat vanished from the limelight since failing to secure a second term in the White House. Meghan Markle, meanwhile, is beginning to make her return to public life after the birth of her and Prince Harry's second child, Lilibet, in June. The Sussexes made a speech at the Global Citizen Live event in New York last month, and announced a partnership with sustainable investment firm Ethic on Tuesday. Members of the royal family remain politically neutral by convention. During the 2016 election campaign she announced her support for Hillary Clinton and threatened to leave the U.S. if Mr. Trump came out on top. Tom Bauer said running for president is surely the next step on her, Meghan's, crusade for goodness. Mr. Trump was asked about the possibility of Meghan running for office in 2024 in a 30-minute call on Fox News in March. He said, I hope that happens because if that happened, I think I would have an even stronger feeling toward running. I am not a fan of Meghan. Mr. Trump did not confirm whether he would run again, but added, based on every poll, they want me to run again. But we're going to take a look and see. A survey released yesterday by Morning Consultant Politico said more than two-thirds of Republican voters feel he should run again, 67 percent of Republicans said he should try for a second term, while 82 percent admitted to holding a favorable view of the 45th American president. Mr. Bauer suggested Meghan could use her relationship with Vice President Kamala Harris and the Obamas to boost her chances. He wrote, just as she seduced the royal family, will she tempt California's power brokers to promote her own political ambitions to the Senate and possibly beyond, via her friendship with America's Vice President Kamala Harris and the Obamas? Although her political rhetoric is skeletal and her skin is thin to criticism, surely that is the next step on her crusade for goodness. Mr. Bauer added she wouldn't be the first Hollywood star to venture into politics. Arnold Schwarzenegger served as state governor, while Ronald Reagan was president from 1981 until 1989. Rising to the very top of American politics would not be an easy journey, Mr. Bauer explained. It would take at least 10 years before a Democrat nomination might be considered. However, he said Meghan certainly has the guts and self belief to reach the White House. He questioned, however, whether she has the stamina. During the 2020 presidential election campaign, Meghan and Harry released a video encouraging Americans to register to vote. Critics, including Piers Morgan, suggested it was an endorsement of Joe Biden, although the Sussexes never explicitly expressed an opinion either way. Mr. Morgan tweeted at the time, Prince Harry poking his woke nose into the U.S. election and effectively telling Americans to vote against President Trump is completely unacceptable behavior for a member of the royal family. Mr. Trump responded to the video, saying, I wish a lot of luck to Harry, because he's gonna need it. For now, Harry and Meghan are steering clear of a political career. After their recent trip to New York, Page Six reported the couple had brought a cameraman with him, who was documenting the trip for an unannounced Netflix documentary. Harry also appeared to be wearing a microphone during a visit to a restaurant. They signed a multi-million pound production deal with the streaming giant last year.